in Sri Lanka and after spending a few crazy days in Colombo, we're now down in the beautiful beach town of Nikadua. Where we spent the last few days surfing, relaxing and enjoying the amazing lifestyle here. The beaches are beautiful, the nature is amazing, you can really spend months just hanging around here. However, we've only got three weeks to see the whole country, so tomorrow we're heading off to Gaul, one of the best examples of a fortified city built by Europeans in South and Southeast Asia. Walking around Gaul, you can really see the influence Europeans had on the city. There's Dutch, Portuguese and British architecture everywhere. You can also find cute little tea houses, art galleries mixed with traditional Asian culture. ride from Gaul to Unavatuna, which is one of the most famous and beautiful beaches in Sri Lanka. We're going to have a look around and then have some breakfast by the beach. We arrived in Ala, a cute little town up in the Sri Lankan hill country. It's really beautiful here. It's green, it's lush, it's absolutely amazing. We're right in the middle of a tea plantation and the best thing to do here is to go trekking and enjoy these amazing views that you see behind me. Navara Elia, an area in the hill country of Sri Lanka also known as Little Britain because of its typical British climate and British architecture. It's a very popular place for Sri Lankans to visit during the holidays to get away from the heat. And one of the most popular things to do here is to walk among the tea plantations and of course drink some tea. <laughs> We've arrived at the summit of Adams Peak, um, absolutely freezing. We started at 2 o'clock this morning and it was uh, pretty hard work to get to the top here. But it's really, really beautiful up here now. We just missed the sunrise because it was cloudy. But the clouds are clearing now and you get a really nice view down to the valley. It's pretty amazing how high up we are. Um, it's also pretty incredible how many people are coming up here in the morning. It was absolutely packed. About a thousand people were walking really slow up these really, really steep stairs. It's pretty amazing, but it's also pretty cold, so we're going to head back down and um, head to Candy next. Well, we survived Adam's Peak, and after a few days rest, we arrived in Candy, which is a spiritual and cultural capital of Sri Lanka. It was the last place to be conquered by the British, and because of that, they preserved a lot of their traditions and culture. So we're going to have a look around town, explore the streets, the markets, and the beautiful nature, which is right in the middle of town. So we're finishing our trip in Negombo, a fishing village by the airport. We've had a really amazing trip in Sri Lanka. The nature's been absolutely beautiful, the mm. beach has been incredible, and the people are really, really friendly and really welcoming. So many things to see, so many things to do. We're definitely going to have to come back here again. But tomorrow we're off to Malaysia. <laughs> 